Hey guys, this is NASA bullshit number 5. NASA's Juno spacecraft to enter Jupiter's orbit on July 4th. Mark that on your calendars, guys. Okay, and... Let's see what it says. NASA announced on Friday that the Juno spacecraft, which is designed to explore the Jupiter system, is now just 11.1 million miles... Oh, and 26 days away from its destination. And yeah. There's the little sad, pathetic space probe. The Juno probe. Supposedly meant for Jupiter. And, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh, I found this. As I, as I saw this article, I found this other article related to it from December about two years ago, three years ago, when they barely launched this thing, apparently. And this article is entitled, Starship View of Earth and Moon Captured by NASA Jupiter Probe. So it's a video. And I gotta warn you guys, it is the most, most pathetic, horrible horrible quality you have ever seen in your life nothing even compares this is this is like almost as if you were comparable um to shooting a video with super nintendo or something like that maybe, maybe even ness shooting video with a nintendo that's how bad this quality is and it says, NASA's Juno spacecraft captured an amazing, quote, starship-like view, unquote, of Earth and the moon as it made a speedy flyby past our planet on its way to Jupiter in October. If Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise said, take us home, Scotty, this is what the crew would see, Scott Bolton said in a statement from NASA. Well, I have to disagree, Scott, because the quality you produced is so crappy. It all, look at this thing. It also says, No previous view of our world has ever captured the heavenly waltz of Earth and Moon. In the movie, you ride aboard Juno as it approaches Earth and then soars off into the blackness of space. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Um, so I'm going to show you guys this video right now, but I'm going to zoom in, so hold on. So here it is guys, Earth and Moon seen by passing Juno spacecraft. This cosmic puree of Earth and our Moon was captured by the Juno spacecraft as it flew by Earth. And there it is guys super tiny they're gonna zoom in so you can see a better get a better view but do not get your hopes up it is truly pathetic I guess adding this supposedly enchanting music makes it seem more amazing but it's just a big dis disappointment There it is, they're zooming in slowly. They're gonna show it right now. There it is on the right, enlarged eight times. You see the moon passing by. The little circle passing by the other blurry circle. <laughs> Let's see this show a better view right now. You can see the supposed fake clouds rotating. The Earth's rotating in a ball, according to them. Look at that. What a jagged, blurry mess. Seriously. NASA's Juno spacecraft flew past Earth on October 9th, blah, 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 blah. So it could reach its target on Jupiter next month. This is the part I wanted to tell you guys. Several instruments were active during the flyby, including Juno's advanced stellar compass, 
originally designed to track faint stars, the ASC captured these low resolution images of the Earth moon system during its final encounter. Did you guys hear that? <sighs> they call it the Advanced Stellar Compass, yet captured these low res. They say low resolution. That's, that's a tremendous understatement. That was that wasn't even count. That doesn't even count as low resolution. This is like 1800s video or something. It's just horrible. Low resolution images. They call it advanced. Yet NASA, who gets paid billions of dollars, supposedly can't put a fucking advanced camera in their fucking video. Are you kidding me? And I apologize for curs cursing, but it's just ridiculous. <laughs> okay, oh, look at this. Everything we humans are and everything we do is represented in that view. Wow. Is that your view, guys? That horrible quality? The spacecraft flew past Earth two months ago, blah, blah, blah. Slingshotted around our planet. It, the slingshot around our planet... Wait, what did it say? Go back. The Juno went around our planet at supposedly 87,000 miles per hour. So that video, the camera is supposedly blitzing past Earth. 87,000 miles per hour. It had captured a nice little view of the moon passing by Earth. Not a blur, nothing. You can still see this, the Earth spinning. Even though it was going 87,000 miles per hour, 87,000 miles. Earth is only 25,000 miles in circumference. Shouldn't it be a blur? Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>